Sorry. What's up? How are you feeling? I had a great show, a wonderful time out here. Big shout out to everybody in Sydney, Australia. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to ask you three questions. I know you want to get out of here. Okay, number one, I want to ask, why do you think that the people of the world should become involved with Occupy, with Occupy, the Occupy movement? Well, I mean, first of all, because we need lots of new ideas. It can't be the same stagnant group of people again and again that are activists and are professional activists, you know? We need new ideas, young people to come and re revolutionize the format. Yeah. You know, we need new people to come in and provide different types of leadership, you yeah. know, to provide different experiences. You know? For a long time, there was a big dispute in the Occupy uh, community in New York about who was really being represented by the Occupy. I mean, were they going to the ghetto? Because those people needed help from the bailouts and from the predatory loans and from the government more than some of the individuals that were camping down there that had a home to go home to. Yeah. So I'm telling people we need to expand the demographic. There need to be more people involved so we can get new ideas. Not that I have anything against someone who's a, a, a career activist, someone who's hardcore, but they need to open their minds as well yeah. and be able to teach other people to strategize, you yeah. know, to believe in themselves, totally. to realize that they can achieve that, that the government's not invincible, yeah. you know, that they rely on us as the fuel for the fire. And our ignorance in a lot of ways is the fuel. Yeah, beautiful. Awesome. I, the second question I wanted to ask you was about... Um, I guess, you know, the, the Occupy in the Wall Street situation and, and what, your, what your views on um, Occupy Wall Street is at the moment and, and it's how it's going. Because it's hard because, you know, you get like... Right. I mean, I think the strategy in New York City, because I, I, I went down to Occupy very, very early in terms yeah. of its yeah. development. And you could see the strategy from the very beginning. The first thing we're trying to go to protesters into violence trying to harass them into negativity. Yeah. Um, the, the, you mean the police? They, yeah. They yeah. were trying, well, not just the police. The police are the arm of the government. Yeah. You know? They don't have orders of their own. They get yeah. told by the mayor what to do. Yeah. The mayor gets told by Wall Street. And they get brainwashed into what to do. Well, it, it depends on what your perspective of brainwashing is. It, it, we can go back and forth and debate who has the wrong idea of what, but I think that Realistically speaking, in terms of Occupy, um, to me one of the most important thing to do, things to do was to realize that the national strategy needs to be running more parallel along with the local strategy as well. Yeah. Even though local problems that they have don't necessarily apply to everywhere, everyone has a different demographic, they need to stand more in line so there can be more solidarity between each one of the Occupy. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. All right, look, third, you know, I mean, I was going to ask you if, if there could be any pointers you could give to uh, Occupy Sydney and Occupy Australia well, I mean, or anything here, else you they want to said, say as They well. said that in New York it was basically they wanted to wait people out into the winter and kick them out. Yeah. Because they, 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 made, a calculated, they made it a calculated move. Yeah. They said that we're going to find ways to discourage the movement or to stagnate it. Yeah. To make it seem like it's not going anywhere. So I would say to the people of Sydney, if you're really serious, start speaking about the actual goals that you want to achieve. And instead of having gigantic goals that seem unrealistic to people, but that are completely possible, focus on smaller ones that you can achieve so you can show progress and victory. And yeah. then start showing people, especially young people in high schools and colleges, that this is totally possible, that we can control the destiny of this country. And, and my one goal with them, uh, I mean, would be for them to force the government to create a Bill of Rights, which unfortunately they don't have here in Australia. A Bill of Rights that explains that all human life is valuable. Yeah. That the government can't just come and take your land over because they feel like it and license it back to you so they can steal the mining rights 
Isn't yeah. that what they do to third world countries? Now they're treating their own people like third world countries. Yeah. You have to come to terms with what the history of this country is. You know, not to denigrate one people and lift up another, yeah. but to realize what was actually done so that we can progress as a human race instead of trying to hide all the negativity that's out there. We gotta grow as a people. Otherwise, we suffer the same fate as everything else that doesn't evolve and become extinct. This is a mortal technique. Shout out to Occupy Sydney. Love you. Peace.